Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. If you are new, my name is Kiana and yeah, um, I just got back home to Whitby and I was in London for the past three weeks. That's why you're seeing all this stuff. I have a few more stuff to unpack. My mom actually cleaned my room yesterday when I was gone. I had to do some stuff for Unreserved. Guys, for the first time in a really long time, I'm going to insert some clips over this I unreserved we finally got to do an in-person recording it was so much fun I was gonna vlog the day but we use my camera so I can't be vlogging if my camera's being used to record videos but it was so good videos for that are coming soon and I'm gonna let you guys know but we did some discussions I guess at least my discussions were on cancel culture on identity politics and yeah we only did two of my videos we were supposed to do six videos but we only ended up doing five just because of time but anyways so that was really fun and so while i was there my mom cleaned my room to get to the point so i have the week off from work i finished my full-time internship last week friday and i start my part-time internship next week i'll be working a few days a week um while doing school because i'm only taking three courses this semester and i figured this would have been a more beneficial part-time job than me going back to work at say a restaurant so that's what's going on right now i'm going to set up my to-do list it's about 12 30 i've just been um paying some bills doing nothing really and i need to eat because i'm so hungry mm. let me go plan everything and then talk to you guys before I even do that, I'm just really trying to just chill out and take it slow today. So I'm going to eat so that my stomach will start acting up because then that's going to kind of smash all the productive energy I have. So, breakfast time. <laughs> so it's like 1 30 the day is going by so fast that's crazy um i'm just doing a pros and cons slash feedback analysis of yesterday's shoot for unreserved um usually just taking some criticism from dante z perita and brie as well as adding my own and then we're all gonna meet and discuss um and then i'm gonna go through today's plan with you guys as well for the week and for today specifically all right guys it is 3 30 i really enjoyed being outside so i just wanted to live in the moment and chill out there but i'm back in my room before i get into the to-do list let me ask you guys your opinion on something so basically if you watch my back to school video you would have remembered when i said that right now first of all right now i have you guys mounted on my bed desk when i made that video i said how when I made the back to school video, I said that I was going to pick up my desk from Hamilton, like the desk I bought from Ikea, and I'm going to start using that instead. Now, do you guys think, I'm going to insert some clips so you can see how my room looks. My desk is smaller in terms of width than my piano, but my mom was talking some sense into me and it worked. And she's saying that if I bring the desk and put it in my room, it's going to be very crowded. Now, I'm wondering, do I even bother bringing the desk here? Like, do I, because I'm supposed to go down to Hamilton tomorrow to pick up the desk. But do I even bother doing that? Or do I just use the bed desk for the year? Because I don't, <laughs> I don't have any space in my bedroom. Um, what I'm thinking to do is, and I guess I can show you guys when I pick up the desk tomorrow. What I'm thinking to do is maybe just keep the desk in my basement I don't know if it's that I'm going to turn the basement into like my chamber of thought. I could do that. I don't even know why I'm asking you guys because at the end of the day I'm going to do what I want. But you know, you can tell me what you think. Uh, we'll talk about this tomorrow when I bring the desk in. Um, but I just don't know. I don't want my room to look crowded, you know? Like, I, I used to have 
I rearranged a different way and I turned it this way so that I could have some open floors. So anyways, let's move on. So I guess that was all a waste of time, <laughs> but okay. All right, to-do list. So I'll put up a picture so you guys can see and follow along. So one, I need to finish the feedback that I was doing earlier for Unreserved. I'm actually finished now. I just need to kind of make it more organized. Two, I need to look into the budget for Unreserved. As of right now, all the money comes out of the exec team's pocket, um, which is technically number one, two and three combined, which is to set up the Patreon for Unreserved. Four, I need to brainstorm some social media ideas because... You know, I want to find a way to keep our audience on Instagram engaged. Five, I'm talking to someone that worked with us yesterday about our website. I wanted to revamp Unreserved's website, but I don't want to do it myself. It's so hard, guys. Like, setting up websites is so much harder than it seems. And because Unreserved is something professional, I don't want it to be just my, like, a basic edit. But we will see because, again, budget yeah so that's what's going on today all right everyone hi i'm going to end the vlog for tonight but i just wanted to update you guys my camera's about to die oh my god i'm currently trying to buy a hard drive from amazon i'm just kind of debating whether to get a two terabyte or four terabytes I kind of really don't know what I want to get so we'll see I'll let you guys know tomorrow what I get but yeah just wanted to say hi and bye hi and bye okay um and I will see you guys tomorrow peace out good night Guys, Chantel's being the arms today, bro. It won't fit. It's not gonna fit. All right, guys. BRB. Let me go help. Tuesday I have to be redoing this clip because Chantal is playing music in the background and does not respect I'm that sorry. I will get copyrighted I, I'm anyways sorry. so I'm we're back in we're back in with me now um, we just dropped off the desk to my house um, we're going for sushi I changed into my eating shorts I had some sweats on this morning but I thought it was so I had sweats on because it was supposed to be 20 degrees and then I realized 20 degrees doesn't feel that hot like well i i didn't know it was gonna it's like be, 20 feels like 26 yeah, it's that yeah. kind of vibe so it, it yeah i dressed for 20 but it's low-key 26 so anyways i changed into some biker shorts we're going to get some all you can eat sushi so the biker shorts are appropriate okay bye guys guys i am so so full but you know all you can eat you gotta eat or you pay bro all right guys it's later i don't even know what time it is but i'm home i'm just lying down um so 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 tired it's probably around four o'clock right now oh look at my hair thriving oh, oh oh okay hold on i want to show you guys something so do you remember how i said the desk like it wasn't there's no space for it the like my room looks really crowded right now i like it's not that bad but it's more stuff in here than i want it to i'm going to clean my room and see how i feel about it but as it is right now this is just a lot um 
let me give a better clip so let me get up so this won't be here this is just here right now because i need to unpack each shelf but i'm going to end up putting that in the closet and then what's in the corner of this closet is a lot of books and stuff um so that will obviously go in the desk and i'm also thinking maybe i could slide the desk over and have like the bed be my chair <laughs> well that was so extra but the bed could be like a chair but we'll see i really don't know what to do when i clean my room we'll talk but yeah so right now wow well, my shorts okay right now i'm watching a vlog from anisha adams i'm going to pop up her thing and i'm actually going to recommend you guys some of my favorite youtubers Maybe this is time to pull the trigger. I want to shout out this cutting. And it's a really nice. Okay, hi. I'm going to go do my nails. I I kind of feel drained in a weird way. Not a weird way. Just tired, I guess. Um, but I want to do my nails because I want to... I just want to feel like a princess. <laughs> um, I've been wanting to do like a colored, that like you know like when everyone ha wow, okay. Anyways, you know like when everyone has a different color on their nails, or when it's like a pastel, pastel no sorry, floral or like a, a fancy design or something. I'll just put some ideas on the screen so you guys can see. I just want to look like a. Floral, princess, meadow, blossom, bitch, you know? Um, another thing I want to do this week is I want to go to the hair store. I want to get an edge control because I'm sure you guys can tell by now. I don't know how to lay my edges. Usually it was like laziness. But it really was that. The gels that I have can't really lay my edges well. So I need something better. And I just... I kind of, I think I usually just got so frustrated because I was like, why is it so fucking hard to find something to use to lay my edges? And so now I'm just like, I want to be a bougie princess and I can't be a bougie princess if I can't get my hair all neat and nice, um, which is another issue because, you know, you don't have to always look all neat and nice, but you know, I want to look all neat and nice. So I'm going to go and do that probably later on in the week. I'm not going to say what day because you guys know me. I say I'm going to do it right now and I don't do it till next week. But right now I'm just going to put on some pants and go get my nails done. morning guys and happy wednesday i just went grocery shopping and i'm about to make myself a coffee and then go do a morning piano session um i do have a few stuff to do today so we're going to go through that but i kind of just want to clear my mind and just play the piano and relax for a bit um i was going to do a hair mask which is what prompted me to go grocery shopping because i didn't have the things to put in my hair mask so i'll be doing that later on so yeah, lots of stuff going on today. Alright guys, I don't know what time it is, but I just recorded a video, the one that I told you I accidentally deleted it, I just kind of redid it, felt very spontaneous. Um, I'm about to edit that right now um, and try and upload it by, well, as soon as I can, I'm just going to edit and upload it immediately. Um, haven't done, I haven't posted a video in like two weeks or so, so yikes. Um, I'm supposed to, and then I'm going to do my to-do list as well. I think I should do that first and kind of know what I have to go on 
by the way guys i'm so sad i bought this oreo um cremo because i've been seeing it and i'm like oh, i really want to try it it is so fucking nasty it's so freaking gross anyways i just thought i should share that don't buy it all right guys i went with a green theme today to match my green nails i didn't even show you guys my nails yesterday and i did my toes nude focus let's go don't look at my toes okay bye <laughs> but yeah so i really love the green though um very cute anyways moving on focus okay so hey guys editing kiana here i'm just gonna insert a screenshot of my to do this because i've been talking a lot in this vlog so um yeah love you bye okay <laughs> guys look on this thumbnail i literally look like <laughs> I rob children like this is so fucking creepy <laughs> I don't know why but this really just reminds me of the movie get out I don't know it, it's just so awkward <laughs> anyways hello friends I am going to the mall with my friend Mark so I just have on some sweatpants and a bodysuit um, I think it's around three o'clock now um, in the meantime I was writing some goals for the month and so I'll quickly go through those with you so yeah these are some goals that I set for the month as you can see I'm trying to hit some subscriber goals so if you haven't already please subscribe and subscribe to unreserved as well follow our Instagram all that good stuff yeah everyone's doing it say hi to the vlog Mark oh. can I see you uh, oh shit it's too dark in here yeah shit it's fucking rain <laughs> Skin Vitality, that place? No. Beauty Supply? Yes. Are you getting your weave at Allstate? <laughs> at Allstate, we have weaves for you. <laughs> Oh, oh cute dog. Oh my. Oh my. Ah. Fucking Mark, guys, has a flat tire. Mother fucking Mark. Yo, I'm trying to fix the flat tire. Get out of here and change the tire. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll sit. I'll sit. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm home. Um, Let me quickly show you what I got. So I'm braiding my hair on Saturday, so I just got some weave. I got some shampoo. I got leave-in conditioner. I got this thing, which I think is for deep conditioning. I also got this, because remember I was telling you guys that I've been trying to find edge control that can actually work on me. And I got a bonnet. Oh, when I was at the mall, I got some sweatshorts from Roots. Just the salt and pepper ones. I also got some socks. I just got ped socks and ankle socks. Wow, they buy yourself Okay. We have another email. This one came through. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. It is basically afternoon, actually. It's like two o'clock. So this morning I had a really long meeting with Perita talking about a lot of stuff relating to Unreserved. Um, one thing that we finally got completed was the scholarship situation. So this morning I just kind of talked to Perita about reaching out to the recipients. So that's great. Right now I'm just actually typing up a caption that's going to be posted on Unreserved's page um to kind of talk about like just to be transparent with like how much we raised and stuff like that kind of hungry right now i made coffee this morning and i'm just not feeling coffee-ish yeah i haven't been drinking my coffee um i hope everyone's liking my bonnet get used to it you're gonna be seeing it a lot now that i don't have to comb my hair to be on camera <laughs> Uh, I hate having to like I hate when it's food time. I used to look forward to let's move while I do this I used to look forward to like food time because you know I used to love finding food and getting to eat and now I'm just over it now I just don't want to eat. I don't want to buy food. I don't want to I'm just not even hungry like 
It's that weird, like, I'm gonna make a smoothie, actually. I'm just not hungry or in the mood to eat anything. I changed my mind. I'm not gonna eat a smoothie. I'm gonna eat some shit that my mom made. And I mean, some stuff that I made before I left London. I don't even know if this is still good. I'm just eating it because I feel bad throwing it out. Now for the vlog. Hello vlog, what's up? <laughs> Good morning guys, happy Friday. I am here with my tea. I don't know why, but I haven't been liking coffee all week. So I'm not even going to try and force myself today. I'm just gonna drink some tea. I have some ginger mint. So yeah, right now I am just like clearing out some emails and just organizing my computer because I have a bunch of stuff open and stuff that I was working on yesterday. I'm kind of just closing out as I, you know, go along. Um didn't finish my to-do list yesterday because I I had just so many meetings and after all those meetings I was so exhausted but I kind of I wanted to talk to you guys about the interview I had yesterday it was so insightful and kind of like brought my life kind of 360 180 I don't know but a lot of connections were made between like my younger self and like my my now current present self and I always used to do that when I journal I always try to tie connections between me then and now but I don't journal anymore I don't know why my my mind just hasn't been feeling it I guess um and I don't really try to force myself to journal I think it's just because I stopped maybe it's out of a habit my mind more my desire to do it is gone um but I kind of wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff that like I took away from that conversation because I feel like she just asked me such deep, insightful questions and it was just like, psh. so I guess the first thing, one thing she asked me was um, when I was younger, like was I always encouraged to talk about religion and politics and stuff like that? And it's interesting because initially my brain was kind of like telling my mouth to say no, like I, I don't always get to voice my opinion, but the answer was yes like and I thought about it and I was like wow like when I was a kid my grandparents and my dad and stuff they used to like debate and like get into conversations and stuff a lot because I don't think all of my family actually they like supported the same political parties and stuff like that so they used to like debate a lot like good debates and stuff and me and my cousins were always like and this is around like ages 13 14 15 like those ages and even younger we would always like joining on those conversations and it just kind of like made me realize like oh shit like you know I was always encouraged to voice my opinion and like form my own opinions not even just take what they say but form my own opinions and I think it kind of brings unreserved full circle because why I started unreserved is because I realized how like for example Twitter was a space where people just felt like they couldn't share opinions and I was always used to sharing my opinions even if it was different and so I just like when we talked about that we talked about the family stuff and then we kind of talked about unreserved separately and she's like do you realize that like your whole life kind of just came full circle and I was like oh my fucking gosh like yes so <sighs> I've already been on a high for unreserved since we recorded. I can kid you, I kid you not, like, throughout quarantine, I even considered stopping unreserved and it was just really stressful. I couldn't think of any new ideas. I, I just did not know what to do with it. And I was like, I don't even really think it's that deep. Like, I don't think this is necessary and people won't really care. But you know what? that just gave me so much more fuel to go forward because oh uh speak your mind guys don't let anyone tell you you can't say shit if you have uh everyone just needs to learn to be open-minded like i'm not saying like people should allow to be spreading wrong opinions on certain topics but you know if you have 
strong opinions on something you should be able to to share your arguments and and have them countered without people you know coming at you and i fucking hate cancel culture that's the point of all of this i fucking hate cancel culture i hate cancel culture i hate how everyone is so sensitive and performative and bro 2020 is a year of performance it's actually a joke and People just, they don't come to have conversations. They come on social media to have their own views confirmed. And it's just like, what do you gain from that? Why would you want to have a conversation with someone that already agrees with you? Then you're gaining nothing. You learn nothing. They learn nothing. We're just wasting breath. So anyways, that's all I'm going to say. This is like five minutes. So I've been obviously talking a lot. Um, So yeah, back to work. So I'm going to finish um downloading i'm downloading some stuff and clearing up some files and getting some stuff done i need to call osap so let me do that now to kind of talk about the thing to to deal with that thing i told you guys yesterday um so yeah i'm just gonna get some work done and then clean up my room so we'll talk in a bit is clean we are done also last note if you realize there's a circle in the middle of my desk it's because i screwed the desk on wrong when i got it because i'm stupid but we love that for me so yeah hello everybody look how cute i look except my post kind of look off told you guys i was going to learn to lay my edges i joke my mom did it but that's good enough. We're starting. We're starting. Anyway, so I am waiting for an Uber to get to Dante's house. I cannot find one. There are no cars available. So I've just been kind of chilling until one pops up. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys how cute I'm looking. Yes, yes. My outfit is by Aritzia. It's a jumper. Yes, feeling like a hot girl. Also, my outfit matches my nails. <laughs> but yeah, so... When I come home, or probably maybe tomorrow, I'll wrap up the vlog because there is something I kind of want to talk about before I end the vlog, which is why I'm not going to end it right now. But, yes. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, I was supposed to come end the video yesterday, but I completely forgot. Um, I really was going to talk about like things relating to what I wanted to do coming up for school. So like, for example, I'm going to be setting up a morning routine and I may go back to the gym. I don't know, just a few things. And like, I don't know, kind of just talk about plans for the upcoming semester. But I'm going to talk about it in my video for preparing for the new semester, which should be out before this actually. So you guys would have already seen that. But yeah, anyways, I'm just coming to end the vlog. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week in my life. It was really fun. By the way, I did eventually complete everything on my to-do list. I just obviously <laughs> kept forgetting to vlog. But yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching my videos. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.
done there. <laughs>